Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Danielle and I am the owner of Damn Fancy Creations. If y'all are new to my channel, I do want to let you know that you can check out my content in two other places. I have a large tutorial group on Facebook as well as a smaller, more personal Patreon group where I offer free files, discount codes, exclusive content, and group challenges each month. Both of those groups are a lot of fun, so I'm going to link them in the description in case you guys want to check them out. For today's tutorial, I think that these are super fun. They are pretty basic tumblers, but I really love how they turned out. These are your popular coloring page tumblers, I guess that's what we're going to call them. Um, basically where you can apply an image to your tumbler with water slide and once it is sealed you can go back and color the lines with washable Crayola markers and the markers dry on there they are not coming off but then if you want to change up your colors you can just wipe off the design with um, a baby wipe or makeup wipe or something like that and then you can recolor it. Um, I think that this is a great idea, especially for kids or even like adults or young adults that are in college. I know when I was in college, I had a lot of downtime in between classes, teachers were late, or maybe I had an extra 30 minutes in between um, classes with not really a whole lot to do. But if you have a tumbler that has a coloring page on it, especially coming from someone that was an art major, it is just something a little bit more creative to do with your time instead of just sit there and wait for class to start. Um, so I do suggest doing a bottle or something with a screw on cap for younger children so they don't just like dump their cup out and then start coloring on it. Um, but of course adults or young adults are going to know like I have to pour my drink out or drink my drink before I can color it. So um, I think these are super fun and just something neat to do. So if you guys are ready to see how I created these with water slide, let's get started. <laughs> Alright guys, so the very first thing we're going to do is prep our cups by painting it white. I am also going to add a little bit of white snow dispersion color into my epoxy just to make sure that that bright is really white since this tumbler is going to be just a plain white tumbler with glitter on top of it. If you are using a bottle like I am on the right, I am going to tape the rim off with electrical tape wherever you want your epoxy to stop. And we are just going to cover our tumbler in the white dispersion color mixed with epoxy. And since we are going to be using this as our base to adhere the glitter, you don't need a ton of epoxy. You just need enough on your tumbler to get the glitter to stick to it. So just make sure you cover all of those little spots. And usually I do have a little bit more epoxy mixed up than this, but I typically mix enough for six to 12 tumblers. And whatever I have left over is what I use to apply glitter to my tumblers if I'm doing the epoxy method. And when you are applying the epoxy to your bottoms, make sure that you're being a little sparing with it. Um, we don't need a ton of epoxy on the bottom. That will make your tumbler sit a little uneven if it does glob up down there. So I am just barely kind of smoothing epoxy on the bottom of these cups. 
Then we're going to torch the tumblers. And then we will be ready to sprinkle our glitter. Today I'm going to be using Coconut Snowball Martini. It is a fine white glitter that does have a pink, blue, purple shift to it. It's one of my favorite whites. I pretty much use it for almost all of my tumblers, honestly. Um, I just change the base colors a lot. And I do apply it with a tea strainer just because I like how this helps the glitter sit. Um, you know, sometimes if I just pour the glitter on there, it seems to cake up and I don't necessarily like that look after epoxy. So this way the glitter is just a super thin layer sitting on top of that epoxy. And like you just saw, to apply the glitter to the bottom of my tumblers, I just fill my tea strainer up with glitter and just kind of sprinkle it on the bottom. It works really well for me. I do not like to blow my glitter on the bottom of my tumblers, um, especially if I have other cups on, which 99% of the time I do. I would just be so nervous that the glitter would get airborne and then land on a different epoxy tumbler where I did not want it. So just pouring it on the bottom has always worked well for me. So after we get our glitter on, we are going to immediately peel the electrical tape off from the bottom. Once this layer of epoxy has cured, I will apply two more layers of epoxy and I will re-tape the bottle each time. So here are what our bottles look like after two layers of epoxy. I have my water slide images and I have a wet paper towel. When I do water slide, I do not like to soak my images. I just get a wet paper towel and just wet the backing of my water slide paper. I use Sunny Scopia Clear Inkjet paper. Um, I have used this for years. I tried using Haze brand and it just did not release as easy as the Sunny Scopia did. So I did go back to Sunny Scopia and have been really happy with it. Now what is very important when you apply water slide is you do not want to sand your tumbler where the water slide is going to go. That's why I did two layers of epoxy just to make sure that all of those little bumps were smoothed out. I do sand around the edges and the bottoms just to expose that stainless at the top and then make sure the bottom is smooth. I know I'm not going to be applying water slide down there, so I'm not worried about any scuff marks. Now a trick you can do, if you need to sand lightly in some areas, you can sand lightly and then spray it with a clear gloss spray. I like to use Rust-Oleum two times. Um, that will take any of those sanding marks away and you will not be able to see them underneath the water slide. So I am wetting my tumbler with water. We are going to take our water slide image. When it starts to release from the backing, you know it's ready to apply. And you want to wet your tumbler first so that there is water underneath the water slide. That way you can maneuver the image around a little bit until you get it perfectly placed on your tumbler. So since this is a larger image, I am just going to hold one side of the image and then pull the backing from underneath the image. This one was a little tricky because his horns were a little bit different than the base of it so it was like trying to hold two pieces at once <laughs> but as long as you have that water underneath there and you work carefully you should be able to get it placed right so once he is on my tumbler I just kind of look at him and see if there are any wrinkles that I need to get out before And 
And then I am trying to make sure that he is actually straight on my tumbler and not crooked. So I am moving part of it down a little bit. And I've also seen several people ask, well, what happens if I mess up? What happens if it dries and it's not placed how I want it? Um, so you can easily re-wet the tumbler, just put it in a bucket of water or just your sink and the water slide will get soft again and you can peel it right off. So once I have my deer placed where I want him on my tumbler, I am just taking my microfiber towel and I am squeezing out any water that is underneath there. I use a microfiber towel instead of a regular paper towel or rag because the microfiber towels are not going to leave lint or anything like that on my tumbler. So this image is kind of large, so I am definitely making sure that I get out any of those little creases or wrinkles. It's easy to see them if you hold your tumbler up to the light. The light will catch any of those imperfections in your slide, making it easy to see where you need to remove water or straighten out part of the slide. So I am pretty happy with how this guy is. So I am going to now place some snowflakes. These are a lot smaller, so they are a lot easier to apply to the tumbler and remove that water. And I am just placing these sporadically around the tumbler. I will also point out that the back of the mountains don't match up. Um, I could not enlarge the image anymore or the deer would not fit on the tumbler. So I did go back with a fine point Sharpie marker and just draw the rest of those mountains. If you don't feel comfortable drawing them you can always crop part of the mountain image and try to match it up to this one or you can try to erase the mountains all together and put something else there but with me drawing them they did turn out good so i was happy with that result So again, we're just making sure that all of the water is out from underneath all of these images. If you do not get all the water out from underneath the slides, once the water dries, there will be an air bubble underneath the slide and that will be visible after you epoxy. So you need to definitely make sure you get all that water out. So I'm really happy with this deer. This one was one I made for an adult version because it is definitely more detailed than these fun little kid images. So we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to wet our paper towel and then wet the backing of our water slide images.
So we are wetting our tumbler really good. And when the images start to detach from the backing, that is when we know it is ready to apply to our tumbler. And these bottles I did pick up at Walmart. These are the Ozark Trail brand. And I actually really like them better than some of the other bottles that I've purchased before. The top screws on really nicely and I just think they're a really good size. I believe that these are 24 ounces. So it's basically like a skinny tumbler that you unscrew. And I think these are really good for kids. Um, a lot of times kids tumblers are you know 10 8 ounces and they're going to drink more than that in a day especially if they're at school all day so you can fill up this bottle and it will stay cold all day so our slides are ready to apply so we are just removing the backing and getting the image on the tumbler And we're doing the same thing as the first tumbler. We're just removing all of that water. And now we have Santa on there. And then we have our little reindeer. I did print off two little children, but they were just a little bit too big for this cup. So he wouldn't really fit on there with the reindeer. I just thought that having the kids on there just made everything too busy. So I did take the little boy off. Um, I have a little boy, a little girl, and a penguin that I may put on a smaller tumbler. So I just slid him off and put him back on his backing. And once he dries, I can reuse him again. So I just settled on the Christmas tree, the reindeer, and Santa. So since Santa was a little bit too close to the Christmas tree, I just lifted up one edge and I just moved him over just a little bit. So now they're all pretty evenly spaced around the cup. And then just like before, we are going to make sure all of the water is out from underneath the slides. And once all the water is out from underneath your slides, we still need to let this dry for a little bit. I typically let mine dry for about 30 minutes. Some people like to wait overnight just to be safe. Whatever option is totally fine. Um, I typically tell people that you can kind of feel when the slides are dry. It's not as rubbery feeling, it's more stiff. So once the slides are dry, we're going to retape our bottle. You do have to retape it pretty much every time. 
just to get a good clean rim on a bottle and we are just applying clear epoxy and this is the layer that I'm going to add some of that chunky silver glitter just to give it a little bit more interest and it's not so plain without color. Again, we are being super sparing with the epoxy we put on the bottom. We just want to make sure it's covered and not globbed up. So once my epoxy is on there, I typically wipe from top to bottom or bottom to top and we're just getting any of that excess epoxy off and smoothing it out. This also helps me see if there are any spots that I may have missed epoxy. You can definitely feel if you hit kind of a rough spot, then you know you missed epoxy. The epoxy won't um, slide as easily. And once our epoxy is on and smooth, we're going to grab our torch. I have the torch from CC DIY. I really like it. I was like you guys and I was scared to try the big torch at first, but I really like it now. It's so much easier to work and it really does pop those bubbles. So I typically will torch my tumbler for one rotation. I know it takes about 14 seconds for my tumbler to make a full rotation. So I typically just count to 14 each time I go to pop my bubbles. And once all the bubbles are popped, I'm going to sprinkle some of my silver glitter. We're going to be using White Lady from the Drunk Flamingo today. It is a chunky, fine mix of silver and a little bit of opal. And I'm just going to take this and sprinkle it around the tops and bottom rims. I don't want this glitter to be overpowering. I just want enough to add some sparkle to it. Just to give it a little bit more interest when the cup is plain and not colored. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind in my video, but it is going crazy today. And it is the beginning of November, so all of our leaves are changing right now. 
So when that wind blows, all these leaves just come tumbling down. And my little corgi birdie is just sitting in the yard, just staring at everything coming around her. So I do add a little bit of this silver glitter kind of in all the little blank spaces of the cup as well. But it's definitely a little bit more heavy on the top and bottom rims. And once I get all this glitter kind of sprinkled on, I will immediately pull that electrical tape again. And once this epoxy dries, I will retape the bottle, epoxy again, remove the tape, then it will dry, retape the bottle, epoxy again, remove the tape. So you do have to remove this tape and replace it each time you epoxy. But this is pretty much it for this tutorial. Once the last layer of epoxy is cured, then the tumbler is ready to go. So here are just some short little videos I did for TikTok, just showing how you can color these fun tumblers and then wipe them off with a makeup wipe. but I definitely had fun making these. They are super easy. I know a lot of you guys struggle with water slides, so I hope this video kind of showed you guys that it's really not as hard as you may think it is. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial, and I cannot wait to see what type of coloring pages you come up with. I think these would be super fun for different holidays or seasons just to carry around with y'all. And here are just some finished pictures of my cups. And thank you guys so much for watching. If y'all enjoyed this tutorial or learned something new, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to catch the next video coming up that was picked just for you. As always, if you're looking for more tips, tricks, or tutorials, be sure to check out my tutorial group on Facebook or my patron group. Both are linked in the description. Thanks for watching.